टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज एक्सरसाइज 8.3 दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सरसाइज एंड वेरी इजी एज वेल एंड फॉर दैट वी नीड टू लर्न फ्यू फॉर्मूलाज लेट अस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट वी नीड टू लर्न वी नीड टू लर्न फ्यू फॉर्मूलाज साइन 90 माइनस ए इज इक्वल टू कॉस ए कॉस नाइन्टी माइनस ए इज साइन ए टेंजेंट नाइन्टी माइनस ए इज कोटेंजेंट ए कॉट नाइन्टी माइनस ए इज इक्वल टू टेंजेंट ए देन सीकेंट नाइन्टी माइनस ए is cosecant a and cosecant 90 minus a is secant a look at these formulas very carefully sin is being converted to cos and cos is being converted to sin that means sin and cos we can remember together tangent is converted to cotangent cotangent is converted to tangent so tangent and cotangent relation with each other same way secant and cosecant cosecant and secant we can do its proof also it's very easy let's check its proof let's suppose we have this right angle triangle abc see this angle is 90 degree this is angle a and this angle c i can write it as angle c as 90 minus a now question is how can i write angle c as 90 minus a this is very easy see angle sum property of a triangle we have studied angle a plus angle b plus angle c is 180 degree right angle a i am writing a according to this as simple a is written angle b is 90 degree and value of angle c i want to find okay so what happened now angle c is equal to 180 degree minus this 90 and this a also moves to right side we get 90 minus a so that is the proof angle c can be written as 90 minus a so finally what we did we have written angle c as 90 minus a now see i am going to prove this first part and take its left side its left side is sin 90 minus a we know that sin of any angle will be written as perpendicular over hypotenuse right perpendicular over hypotenuse now what we need to check what is perpendicular and what is hypotenuse accordingly 90 minus a means we are talking about angle c and if i am talking about this angle then this angle and 90 degree will make base so bc is base in this case perpendicular is ab so perpendicular i am going to write ab hypotenuse it is always the side opposite to 90 degree angle so 90 degree is b opposite side is ac so answer of my left side is ab upon ac check the right side right side is cos a we know that cos a is base upon hypotenuse now if we check angle a we are talking about here angle a and 90 degree collectively make base ab so i am writing ab here and hypotenuse opposite to 90 degree it is ac see left side is ab by ac right side is ab by ac that means sin 90 minus a can be written as cos a so this is the proof of first part same way other parts proof can be done but what we are going to do now we are going to start exercise 8.3 based upon these formulas and we are going to implement these formulas there let us start agree now these type of questions 
what is the identity of this questions how can you identify see this 72 plus 18 add these two you will get 90 degree so uh, whenever this 90 degree comes addition of these two angles then you will get to know okay these kind of formulas we are to use now now what we need to do see either sine or cos we need to convert any one of them to another trigonometric ratio like what i can do let us me focus on numerator as of now like 18 is there what i can write 18 can be written as 90 minus 72 i have done nothing 90 minus 72 is 18 so just written 18 as 90 minus 72 and in denominator cos 72 as it is okay now this is sine 90 minus theta in our previous page we have done sine 90 minus theta what is the formula we have done this formula as cos theta right so that formula directly we can use sin 90 minus theta is cos theta and in denominator it is already cos 72 so these two are cancelled our final answer is 1 see this is very easy question but as i told you it is in our hand like this question we have changed the numerator i am doing same question again alternate method let's suppose the question is sin 18 over cos 72 okay i want to change denominator what will i do keep sin 18 as it is and 72 we can write 90 minus 18 see sin 18 as it is cos 72 instead of that what we can write cos 90 minus 18 now sin 18 as it is which formula will be used here cos 90 minus theta same way instead of sin instead of sin what is there now cos cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta this formula can be used so it becomes sin 18 what happens these two are cancelled and see final answer remain same even though change the numerator or change the denominator our final answer is same it is coming as 1 i hope you are clear with the concept let's move to next part look at the second part tangent 26 degree over cotangent 64 degree now looking at this question we are very much clear that 64 plus 26 their total is 90 degree so now the same steps we will use i am going to change numerator here you can do with the denominator as well this 26 can be written as 90 minus 64 denominator cot 64 as it is no i am not writing the formula on right side tangent 90 minus theta is cotangent theta i can write it as cotangent 64 denominator is cotangent 64 these two are cancelled our answer is 1 see this part is very easy right let's move to next part i'm going to start third part now cos 48 degree minus sin 42 degree now see the first part and second part we have done division was there now subtraction is there but our concept remains same 48 plus 42 their total is 90 degree that means this concept can be used right and what i am going to do now cos 48 i am writing as it is see you need to change any one of them you will get the same answer always now sin still as it is 42 can be written as 90 minus 48 you can change cos 48 also in that case also you will get the same answer cos 48 minus now see sin 90 minus theta what is the formula sin 90 minus theta is cos theta so i'll get cos 48 cos 48 minus cos 48 answer is zero so third part you will get zero as an answer right i hope you are clear now 
कम टू लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट को सीकेंड थर्टी वन डिग्री माइनस सीकेंड फिफ्टी नाइन डिग्री एनी वन ऑफ देम वी कैन चेंज लेट एस नाउ ट्राई चेंजिंग फर्स्ट वन बिकॉज थर्टी वन एंड फिफ्टी नाइन टोटल इज नाइंटी डिग्री थर्टी वन कैन बी रिटर्न एज नाइंटी माइनस फिफ्टी नाइन कोसिकेंट नाइंटी माइनस थीटा इज सीकेंट थीटा बिकॉज कोसिकेंट एंड सीकेंट आर चेंज टू इच अदर सो सीकेंट फिफ्टी नाइन डिग्री नेक्स्ट इज सीकेंट फिफ्टी नाइन डिग्री सब्ट्रैक्टिंग दीज टू वी गेट जीरो एज एन आंसर सो वी आर डन विद ऑल द फोर पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन दीज आर वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट पार्ट टेंजेंट फोर्टी एट डिग्री लेट्स मूव टू नेक्स्ट now we are going to start question number second look at the first part on the board tangent 48 degree tangent 23 degree tangent 42 degree tangent 67 degree we need to prove all of these is equal to 1 product of all these how can we prove let us take these four values once first what i need to check this 48 and 42 48 and 42 their sum is 90 23 and 67 their sum is 90 so what i'll do my left side i'll take and since it is a product what i can write 42 like tangent 42 at second position and tangent 23 at third position i have interchanged their places because 48 is related with 42 23 is related to 67 now any one of them i need to change if i keep tangent 48 as it is i'll change this 42 42 can be written as 90 minus 48 then again any any one of these two i can change let's take 23 as it is 67 can be written as 90 minus 23 tangent 48 tangent 90 minus 48 is cotangent 48 because we have done formula tangent 90 minus theta is cotangent theta then tangent 23 as it is tangent 90 minus theta can be written as cotangent theta so it is cotangent 23 now we have done one formula in very first lecture of this chapter cotangent theta can be written as 1 by tangent theta cotangent and tangent are reciprocal of each other so i'm going to use the same formula now tangent 48 degree as it is cotangent can be written as 1 by tangent then tangent as it is this again cotangent 23 same formula right these two are cancelled i get 1 these two are cancelled i get 1 so finally 1 multiply 1 is 1 so this is what my right side is so it's very easy this is how we can prove it equal to 1 let's move to next part part second look at second part cos 38 degree cos 52 degree minus sin 38 degree sin 52 degree is equal to 0 see in this question we need to prove their subtraction is 0 i'm going to take left side okay so mainly here what we need to see when subtraction is zero that means finally after doing one or two steps both terms should be same so that when they are subtracted their answer becomes zero what i can do see cos 38 cos 52 i am writing as it is okay i am writing it as it is and these two angles i am going to change here like what i am going to write 38 can be written as 90 minus 52 and this 52 next can be written as 90 minus 38 because i am having both cos here so what i thought these two signs must be changed to cos then subtraction is possible cos 38 as it is cos 52 as it is 
साइन नाइन्टी माइनस थीटा सी द फॉर्मूला इज कॉस थीटा सो आई कैन राइट इट एज कॉस फिफ्टी टू साइन नाइन्टी माइनस थीटा अगेन कॉस थीटा इट कैन बी रिटर्न लाइक दिस सो आई एम जस्ट इंटरचेंजिंग द टर्म्स नाउ हेयर कॉस थर्टी एट आई एम राइटिंग फर्स्ट कॉस फिफ्टी टू आई एम राइटिंग आफ्टर एट सी बोस टर्म्स आर सेम कॉस थर्टी एट कॉस फिफ्टी टू कॉस थर्टी एट कॉस फिफ्टी टू सो सब्रैक्टिंग दीज टू आवर आंसर इज जीरो दिस इज द राइट साइड सो इट वॉज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन टूडे वी हैव कवर्ड ऑल द पार्ट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एज वेल एज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ऑफ द सेम एक्सरसाइज इन आवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री आई होप यू हैव लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड click on the bell button as well so that whenever we will upload next video you will get the notification thank you so much